dancing on the moon morning and your girl is without any makeup today because we are going to talk about a very very essential skincare routine that I am following nowadays and I thought it would help you guys as well because looking at the current situation the pandemic and whatever is happening across the world I thought for me personally it would not be a very good idea to go to a salon or a parlor or anywhere rather which is not essential uh, to get a facial done or a face massage done which in normal situation I would have gone and done it but um, in this situation I would rather avoid and I would suggest all of you to avoid as well and stay home and stay safe and try to do something that you can do in your house at the comfort of your house with your own uh, tools and things that you get so today's video is all about um, skincare your facial skincare basically how you can tone your skin how you can minimize the appearance of your pores on your skin how how you can get more glow on your skin as you can see my skin is glowing literally because i've just completed the treatment and which i will show you um, in next couple of minutes so that's why my skin is actually glowing without any kind of makeup and this is a celebrity uh, secret as well because it gives you an instant uplift uh, and uh, sculpted face as well so without me blabbering again with you guys a lot let me just tell you in today's video we will be talking about facial cupping method or a therapy so i will show you the facial cups how does it look it looks like this silicone cups it creates vacuum and it boosts collagen on your face so these are like four of these this is for the eye area the two small is for the eye area as you can see and the larger ones are for the remaining part of your face it helps to do your lymphatic drainage as well however you need to follow certain rules which I will be showing in the video later but um, and also this product for your convenience I have listed in the uh, description box you can go and check it out from there which is very very essential now talking about facial cupping you must what is facial cupping facial cupping is supposed to increase the blood circulation which helps to stimulate the facial cells that are responsible for collagen production which will give you a very nice and glowing skin benefits of facial cupping it has got numerous benefits first of all but the first thing is it helps you to get oxygen rich blood circulation on your face and the face tissues and the cells which are responsible as I told you for uh, you know stimulating the collagen production it helps you to brighten your skin tone it tones your jawline your neckline and your you know cheeks as well it reduces the appearance of fine lines pores on your skin and scars and scar marks as well it decreases puffiness on your skin it decreases uh, oil production in your skin as well and also it helps you to absorb the nutrients that you're applying on your face whatever you are applying it helps you to absorb that for your skin it makes it easy for your skin to absorb that and gives you a very nice healthy looking skin so if you ask me how often should you do it do should you do it regularly no you should not be doing this um, cupping therapy regularly it should be done after an interval of 72 hours so each 72 hours you can do this and this will help you to get those lymphatic drainage done very very nicely and you will have no puffiness on your face and you will be looking like really nice no wrinkles and sculpted face so but not regularly because if you do it regularly then you will end up having bruises on your face and 
nothing is good if you overdo it so you should do it in balance that's very important and uh, how long should one session of cupping therapy last I would say one session of cupping therapy should maximum last 15 to 20 minutes not beyond that because within 15 minutes you will start feeling the gush of blood on your face on your cheeks and you will start feeling it very warm and it will turn your cheeks will turn red as well so that you will see that in the video uh, that's there and uh, yes and how to prep your skin I will just show you in the demonstration how to prep the skin before you start this therapy and before that Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the like button that's the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to comment on my channel if you are liking the content that I'm bringing to you guys also if you are not in the community section or the community tab make sure that you check my community tab on YouTube because I am posting some nice um, diet uh, for you guys so that it can help you guys to reduce those extra kilos that you might have gained during this pandemic uh, so I'm sharing my diet there that I'm following to reduce so if you guys like it you can go and check it there as well and yes I think I just felt so happy sharing with you guys that I have started talking again so let's get cracking into the video and show you what is the procedure to do this therapy let's get cracking all right so how to prep your skin before facial cupping therapy it's very simple just wash your face with a mild face wash and make sure that you are not using any kind of face scrub before and after 48 hours reason being uh, if you do too much of uh, scrubbing before this facial cupping therapy before or after any time you might end up getting bruises because when you do the cupping therapy it actually creates a vacuum and stimulates your collagen production it brings the you know oxygen to your skin cells so post you're done with this cupping therapy um, you need the you need to give time to your skin to heal a little bit and you do not want to break the tissues rather you want them to repair and that is the reason this is very very important the second thing is that you should not be doing cupping therapy on dry skin you need to have a very very moisturized and lubricated uh, face as in uh, the skin on your face should be very moisturized and lubricated so that you can easily create the vacuum and pull it um, outside as well the cupping therapy will also help you to do the lymphatic drainage and also reduce the puffiness as well so what i do is let me show you what i do basically so i usually use oil i use three oils so this is the sweet almond oil this is what i use like two to three drops of this one then i use uh, the rose hip cold pressed oil this is what I use and I also use the Nika skin potion anti-aging facial oil so I'm not sure if you guys can see this is the one that I use so I mix three of these oils and then I apply it on my face so like two drops of this oil and then I take about two drops of the rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is very, very good for your skin, guys. And also almond oil, sweet almond oil. I take this as well, like about two drops. It's very thick, guys. So it will really help you to do this, uh, you know, cupping therapy because it will create that vacuum and it will be very lubricated and it will be creating a nice base to pull it now simply mix all the oils okay and you massage your face with the oil very lightly like I'm doing here
on your forehead whichever area you want to be uplifted and you know moisturized so I'm showing you the process just make sure that you follow the exact process and do not use a very very harsh or very abrasive or different directions I will show you the directions uh, let me just drop my hands in the towel okay now you take this to vacuum silicon cups okay you place it on your cheeks like so okay and you pull it out place it pull it out do not let it rest for more than a second because then it will cause like bruises so you don't want that so drain it out and then pull it down one two and three so again one two and three so I will show you the process just follow the same direction it will help you to uplift your cheekbones and also give you a very nice um, sculpted jawline so here you need to do this so I'll put you on a time-lapse right now so that uh, I can complete this and you need to do this treatment for 15 minutes in one go you need to do it for 15 minutes okay so let us just do it all right so for the under eye you need to use this one because your under eye portion is very soft you need to simply just pull it inside like so start from the end corners and then pull it inside like so all right so guys you can see a close look of my face right now which is 15 minutes post the cupping therapy it has turned red do not worry guys because as you can see it's turned red this is because it is getting the stimulation of collagen and also getting the oxygen flow to this areas so which will create a very nice glowing uh, in effect on your face and not only that it will sculpt your face in a very very nice um, uplifted um, motion maybe or up uplifted structure so this is very very essential but your face will feel very hot right now because of the you know the blood flow that has come to your face and to the vessel so do not worry about this it will remain like this for some time and then it will cool down so it is good enough all right so I believe you guys enjoyed watching this video you guys enjoyed watching the therapy let me tell you a few pointers after care about after you know after care after you have done this therapy is that you need to make sure that you don't wash your face you don't rub your face you don't do anything to your face and you just keep it the way as it is and let the nutrients and the oil that you have used to be absorbed in your skin and let it heal on its own I would suggest best to do this uh, treatment either early in the morning when you wake up or before going to bed I prefer doing it before going to bed because then my skin can rest for entire eight hours while I'm sleeping and during night when you're sleeping your skin repairs really really fast and the growth is very nice for your skin cells so that is very very important uh, make sure that you try and do it at night because that will also help you reduce all the tension and the stress that you have around your forehead for from the entire day's workload or whatever you're doing so that will give you a very nice and peaceful sleep as well because it will help you to drain those lymphatic drainage and everything and you will wake up with a very nice and glowing skin next day morning without even visiting a parlor so i think i should end the video here enough of blabbering see you in my next video till then stay fit stay healthy be obsessed about yourself and i will be bringing more and more 
options because I'm bringing, I'm doing a lot of research how I can bring in more and more nice and interesting content for you guys so that you guys can take care of your skin, of your health from the comfort of your home without even walking out of the home. So stay safe, stay healthy, be obsessed about yourself. Bye-bye.